It's one of the biggest questions on planners' lips. How to plug the housing shortage in Norwich? Well, today they moved a step closer to an answer as a list of 500 possible sites was published. It's after an appeal to landowners earlier this year to come forward with sites suitable to build 12,000 new homes by 2036. The resulting list has enough space for 70,000. I mean, it is great to have a large number because that gives choice and it means that we can follow a, a planned approach and have development in the right areas for the right reasons. Um, so that, that's, that's a real positive that's come out of having so many sites. On the downside, of course, it means there's a lot of work um, because there's a lot of assessment and a lot of evidence to be collected before we can go forward. The list which will help build the Greater Norwich Local Plan covers the city, Broadland and South Norfolk. Most of the biggest suggested sites are to the west and southwest along the A11, but it also includes places like Anglia Square, where it was announced earlier this week that more than a thousand new homes could be built. Dan Grimmer is public affairs correspondent at the Eastern Daily Press. There's about 500 sites that have come forward doesn't mean they're all going to get developed on, doesn't mean that houses are going to be springing up right, left and centre, but it does give the potential for those sites to be developed. It would still have to be assessment of each of those sites, and if it got to the point where a firm plan for housing came about, that would still need to secure planning permission from the local councils. So it is early days, this is a list which will change over time, but it does give a potential idea of where about 12,000 new homes could be built. Councillors will now spend the next few months going through the list to remove sites that may be unsuitable because of things like flooding or add any late submissions before a public consultation at the end of next year. But building new homes isn't always popular and it isn't just a question of where they're built but how they're built. What I want to see really is very strong environmental protection built into this plan. There's a real opportunity in Norwich to do things differently this time. And that's both in terms of the quality of the housing, so having much more housing with renewable energy on site, um, built to the highest possible environmental standards, and also the transport. What we need to do is move to a system where we can have as many people as possible working by public transport. So we need the, the plan makers need to be talking to the transport planners. So Norwich has its list of possible locations, but the challenge now will be picking the ones everyone can agree on. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Norwich.